Campaign for Atheist Iranian Prisoner, October 3rd, declared International Sohail Day. Atheist Republic, alongside over 130 individuals and organizations, is declaring October 3rd International Sohail Day. Sohail Arabi is an Iranian blogger who was sentenced to death in 2013 on charges of insulting the Prophet Muhammad in his postings on Facebook. The success of previous demonstrations uh, can be seen in the commutation of his death sentence in 2015. However, Sohail was recently sentenced to an additional two years in prison for, quote, spreading propaganda with the intention of disturbing public opinion because of his outspoken advocacy for atheism and prisoner rights. You can join by sharing your messages and images of solidarity on social media and using hashtags like hashtag free Sohail and hashtag Sohail Arabi, as well as sending a message to your local Iranian embassy. Yes. Can I show the video with yes. you? Okay, oh, I mean, see. I basically say the exact same thing that I just said. But we can I know, watch but it. I but I added music and I did some work. In you did a very it. you wait. You edited this yourself. Yeah. You did such a good job. Yeah. Oh, really? You didn't know? I can't. <laughs> I oh. was. The, I thought. I sent it to you first because I thought you would be proud of how good my editing was. You didn't know that I did it myself? No, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Got 9,000 views. That's great. Hold on. I am very skilled in so many things you, you don't even know. Did you not know that I... Okay, no. Okay. I'm, I, do you, what do you, why do you think I sent it to you? I was bragging about how good it is. Like, why would I say, like, I was... I, all that bragging that I did to you and the, how, how good the thing is, you think I was like, I was bragging about someone else. I was bragging about myself. I'm so, I'm actually triggered that you weren't recognizing how good my work was, but now it's good. Now you, you know, you recognize. Anyways, guys, let's watch that. <laughs> okay. Because I picked the music and also the, yeah, no, I'm not gonna just watch this. Uh, look how good this is. Sohail Arabi is an Iranian blogger who was sentenced to death in 2013 for insulting the Prophet Muhammad on Facebook. The success of previous demonstrations can be seen in the commutation of his death sentence in 2015. However, Sohail was recently sentenced to another two years imprisonment because of his outspoken advocacy for atheism and prisoner rights. We want to continue this pressure, and you can join by sharing your videos, messages, and images of solidarity on social media and using the hashtag, hashtag free so hail. You know how we pay for that subscription, that website that gives us music? See, now, see I told you it's worth it, right? You, That's you where I got it. the music. From. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the trick is to do the transitions, like, slowly, you see? The six so here's the thing. Here's the things that I learned by watching YouTube videos on how to make videos less boring. Okay. So instead of just like putting Wait. the image on, what? I, I want to talk more about the campaign. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm letting, I'm, yeah. The reason why I'm talking about the video thing is because I want to do this more often. I want us to like, every time there is like a case that we need to bring attention to, I think we could get like, this is a powerful way of getting the message out every time we get like you giving the message under one minute video, music, images, um, very short, like this is, this. there's a three part, like get to the point right away. Who is Sohel Arabi? Why it's important for us to continue to add the pressure and what you can do. So no, no, no fluff, okay? Gentle music, the pictures of the victim and the call to action, very short introduction, very simple. And I think this is a very, going to be a very powerful tool for us to use. And I think Susanna reading it is going to get a lot more attention than me reading it. So this is like a, this is what we're going to do. Okay. Every time we know it, a case needs highlighting, we're going to, we need, um, one thing you guys could do is like, go find this video and just keep spreading this video. I think it's a powerful video, a powerful way of making a campaign, uh, get some momentum. Anyways, yeah. You yeah. did a really good job with it. Um, uh yeah so guys um it's really important that we talk about this campaign like i said um over 130 individuals and organizations have signed on to this um campaign including sohail and his mother um 
uh, have shown their support for this effort. So depending on where you live, what time zone, today is October 3rd for you, or tomorrow is October 3rd for you. So we want to create, you know, a big firestorm on social media. So as many people as possible, um, giving it, sharing about Sohail, um, what the issue is, what's happening is really important because it's through public demonstrations and pressure that we are able to affect change. And it's also important to think about um, goals and expectations, right? So maybe from previous demonstrations, people might have felt disappointed about um, perhaps the success of it because they say, well, so Hale is still in jail. Like, um, you, you guys weren't successful, but no, we were successful because he was on death row and now he is not. So um, it's important to talk about these things because um, if people become um, disappointed and then demotivated, they're less likely to um, continue to push things like this forward. So when you guys are, are partaking in this, you know, I, um, I want people to think about your expectations and our expectations are oriented around lesser sentencing and better living conditions, you know, um, uh, more health checkups, you know, those kinds of things. Those are big successes in um, a campaign like this. Um, Armin? Yeah, and Dornob is saying, is Sohel's mother the one that is still Muslim and but still supports him? Yes, she is. She's a, she's a Muslim. She's, every time I saw her, I mean, I recently think that might have changed, but she's a, she was a hijabi. Um, and she's comp very supportive of her son's atheist activism. So, so much so that she actually um, came to Atheist Republic, Atheist Republic's Persian show, uh, to defend her son, and we asked her if she's okay to come to Atheist Republic's Persian show, given that she lives in Iran and doing an interview with Atheist Republic could get her in trouble. And she says she doesn't care because she will do anything to bring more attention to her son's case. And right after we interviewed her, she was arrested and she was taken to jail. Um, but we did an interview. She's very proud of her. It's amazing. She's a Muslim mom. And she's very, very proud of her son's um, activism. And she's so proud that he is, that he's so passionate about her, his beliefs that he's not willing to sacrifice any of his principles. Like he, even him in jail, he's doing his activism. Uh, he stands by his atheism. And he also stands by prisoner, like he defends, he spends his time in prison defending other prisoners' prison rights and doing advocacy for them. Uh, it's amazing. And the mom is not backing down. Her son is not backing down. And um, even though they they both are being going to jail for it, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah. we, we actually did interview... Um, her, you know, when we interviewed her mom, we actually did put subtitles in English um, about her interview. Uh, with, oh, actually, here's her mom. Thank, oh, thank you, Sus. Hold on. Um, I think this is going to be in Persian, right? Yeah. Can you translate? Okay. Let me try. So this is Soil Arabi's mother. She's saying hi. Hello to all of you. Uh, she's saying my name is Farangiz Maslum. Oh, wow. Maslum means her name is Maslum, and Maslum, I think, means uh, somebody who's been wronged, and that's her name. Okay. She's saying I'm, I'm Sohel Arabi's mother. Oh, um, the. An, an atheist anarchist prisoner. So, so El Arabi is anarchist and atheist. And she's like, look, she's like, she's like, full, like she lives in Iran and she's hijabi and she's saying my son is an a, 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 anarchist atheist prison, uh, prisoner. I, I wanted to use this video for, so that for October 3rd, uh, 
to thank both um, our atheist and anarchist friends. <laughs> so she's thanking both the anarchists who are supporting Sohail and the atheists who are supporting Sohail. And thanking them for naming this day, um, October 3rd for Sohail. و از دوستان و کسایی که این ویدیو رو می‌بینم خواهش می‌کنم که از ما حمایت کنن از سهیل حمایت کنن and she's asking people to support Sohail Sohail باید سالها پیش از زندان آزاد می‌شد با وجود she's saying that Sohail should have been freed from prison years ago the afo even though he was supposed to be forgiven like there was a forgiveness for him but he's still like why is he still in prison and all the years he was in prison and all the misery that he experienced and not only he, they didn't let him free they just added another two years to his sentence she said, I thank all your support. And I thank you that you named this day after Sohail. So yeah, that was that. Um, thank you for sharing this, Susanna. That was, it. That was really good. Yeah, I think it's but, important to see and, um, you know, like the people behind it and who... Um, because it's one thing to just have like signatories on a list, right? Like, and mm -hmm. it's another thing to see someone's family member talking about what it means to them to have international support. Um, you know, there are a lot of prisoners, uh, you know, political prisoners around the world that don't have any support or, um, knowledge about them or outside people fighting for them. And so it's no small feat that there is international pressure and attention on Sohail's case. And he's been the treatment of severe torture in prison, numerous hunger strikes as he tried to um, fight for his own rights and also the rights of other prisoners. Like he's, I can't imagine like what kind of character he has to be in the position that he is in in like a Veen prison, one of the most notorious prisons in the world for just horrific abuse and torture and still fighting for others outside of himself, like even under the worst of conditions, like I'm still going to raise attention to like what other people are facing here. Like, and still in, in his correspondence, you know, still signing his name, like Sohail Arabi atheist, you know, at the end, like just to stick it to like, you know, the mm. prison mullahs, like, that's insane. I, I, I'm, I'll probably never be that brave. I'll never be that brave. Um, and actually, um, a lot of people probably don't know this, but Sohail Arabi is actually why I started my atheist activism. Um, when I first learned about the case of Sohail, this was like the first time I was ever really aware or learned about the fact that people are criminalized for blasphemy. People are criminalized and executed for apostasy. Like learning about his case was opened up a whole new world for me of learning about how deep this issue is and how it affects millions of people. Um, so in a lot of ways, like I have a lot of what I do now, like I have to thank him for it. Um, and I am, I'm really encouraged to see so many people rallying behind this cause. Liberal Hindu is saying, is she, is, is she still a Muslim or not? Yes, she's definitely a Muslim, but she's very supportive of her son's atheist activism. Um, Sus, I really hope so, Larabi, when I gets to hear you say all of that, like himself. That you that he inspired you. I think he's the type of person that would enjoy hearing that. So I hope he, he we find that we'll find a way for him to. Maybe we should clip that part that what he just said and maybe like find a way to send that to him. I would like that. Aww. Uh, <laughs> um, what's another thing? Also, oh, yeah. shouts yeah. out to everyone who's a part of the uh, Atheist Republic uh, Persian Channel community. I know there's mm -hmm. been a huge push 
um, in the Farsi speaking community of Atheist Republic to get behind this campaign and bring a lot of attention to it in the Farsi speaking community. And that really needs to be emphasized um, because that's a lot of who can be most effective and mobilized um, in this sort of campaign. So thank you to everyone over there. And a special thanks also to Mariam Namazi and Milad uh, and Babak and everybody else at the Council of Ex-Muslims who's been uh, working on this as well. It was also Mariam Namazi who made a lot of these suggestions and we're following her lead. So special, you know, special thanks to her as well. I mean, maybe she wouldn't like to be, have it described like that. She would, she might, she, maybe she gets angry with me if I say, maybe she'd be like, no, it was everyone's decision. So, okay, so, um, oh, Puyo was also saying at one point he was even being, but, but anyways, I just want to even mention that Mariam is somebody that more people need to know, okay? Mariam Namazi is a, for the reason why a lot of these things happen. Maybe she doesn't want all that focus on her, but that, that is the case. Uh, okay, Puyo is saying it's, at one It's like a historical fact that she... Yeah pushed the ex-Muslim movement to be what it is today. Yes, yes, she is. Not singularly, but a major force. Yes, um, is. Puya is saying, at one point, Sohail was even refused medical attention for a severe injury to one of his testicles. Yes, this is true. There's been a long history of him being refused proper medical care um, to many of injuries he's received through torture. Because, yeah, injury. the injury he received because in prison he was being beaten up. And then... Um, he needed hospitalization and he was denied hospitalization because of that injury. So he's not just in jail. He's also being abused. Um, there's a, is there a way that we could end this on a, something less dark? No. Yes, we can end it on a positive note by saying that you guys can help join and participate in this. It, we rely on people like you, everyone, to help make these initiatives successful, right? So if you are want to hear something more positive about it, you can actually contribute to helping to make sure that this is the case. Like I said, by sharing images, um, your messages of support, solidarity online, um, using the mm -hmm. hashtags for the campaign. If you want to learn more about the campaign, um, you can find the link in the description for the full write-up um, by the Councils of Ex-Muslim of uh, Britain and learn more about um, other ways you can get involved. And if you're feeling particularly helpful, you can even write to your local or nearest Iranian embassy or consulate. All right. And for the people who think this is this doesn't have an influence, um, I've been told that Sohel's mother herself has admitted that the pressure, the attention that her case, son's case is getting is, you know, is helping. Okay. Like the, what did, you know, less people die when the, it's not like one-on-one, -on -one, it's not like it always work. Right. But when these governments, when the cases of the people who might get executed or tortured, when it gets international attention, there is pressure on the authorities to reduce the abuse okay like because because of the international attention the case is getting so you like it's not like oh it's hashtag activism it's just like people tweeting and make, thinking that they're making a difference it has been confirmed that more people sharing this and more people talking about this does actually have an influence so this is not something we're making up m m there are many cases to show that it's not always it's not like it's always going to work but given that there's no cost to you to just like post about this and use the hashtag and it, the fact that it might work, maybe it doesn't, but there's no cost in trying and sometimes it helps. You might as well do it just so that you have contributed to maybe helping someone. Yes. And like I said, depending on where you live, either today is October 3rd for you or tomorrow is October 3rd for you. So get yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah, please. And also like this video. So more the feed the algorithm gods uh, and make them help our channel grow. Just that's the only the, the As much as we complain about the YouTube gods, as, unlike the other gods, they don't demand a blood sacrifice. So the YouTube gods just, just want you to hit the like button and they bless this video. They give this video their blessings 
just like the video. It's a very small sacrifice compared to other other religions. So please, please, and please. be sure to yes. subscribe to our newsletter where you can yes. get a free copy of Armin's book as well as multiple times a week we send you the sexiest blasphemous heart you've ever seen. So uh, please join. Yes. Okay. Link in the description. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.